Welcome back. Uh, great to have you with us on SABC News. Uh, the big crime news, Port Elizabeth businessman Christopher Panayotu has been found guilty of the murder of his wife. Jade Judge Dalen Chetty delivered his judgment in the Port Elizabeth High Court. Panayotu and his co-accused Zolani Sebeko and Sinetembe Nemembe uh, were tried for conspiring to commit murder, murder, abduction and defeating the ends of justice. Panayotu was the mastermind behind the abduction and murder of his wife Jade in 2015. She was abducted outside her house by the hitman, shot execution style, and her body was found a day later in an open felt. Panayotu's defense team has indicated that they will appeal. An emotional day in court, as both families anticipated the verdict. I'm satisfied that the evidence seduced proves the guilt of the accused on the charges specified here under beyond any reasonable doubt. Accused number one is found guilty of murder on count four and not guilty on the remaining counts. Accused number three is found guilty of robbery with aggravating circumstances on count two, guilty of murder on count four and not guilty on the remaining counts. Accused number four is found guilty of conspiracy to murder on count one and not guilty on the remaining counts. A bittersweet moment for the Paneotu family as Christopher celebrates his 31st birthday today. <laughs> okay. For the Engs family, the justice they were seeking. No, no. Judge Chetty highlighted the importance of the middleman and former state witness, Lutando Suyoni, as a key figure in Jade's murder. Judge Chetty referred to the video implicating Paniotu as he handed over money to Suyoni in the judgment. And then they didn't take the watch or anything. They just left everything. They just left everything there. You see, so it looks like a hit now. The judgment also stated that the investigating officer did not need permission from the Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions to proceed with the video stick operation. And we also believe that this will bring closure to, to the family of, of the deceased. Uh, and as well out there, the public will see that at least we are doing something as the state. And uh, it was just a brilliant uh, judgment. And we believe that it's going to go a long way to, to bring back uh, confidence into the criminal justice system. Sinatem Benenembe was found guilty of murder and robbery. Zolani Sibeko was found guilty of conspiracy to murder. The fourth suspect in the matter, Sizwezake Vumasonke, died in custody before the trial started. Defence advocate Terry Price says he will be studying the judgment and will consider on bringing an application for appeal. Christopher Panayotu will be sentenced on the 17th of November. J.D. Paulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.